Hello, this tutorial is going to create a landscape using thick paint and thick paint compatibles. The new P Painter 2021 has some really delightful layer options that are wonderful, and that's kind of what I'll be exploring today. What you see on the screen is a watercolor that I had done earlier, and I like to mix watercolor with uh, thick paint. But in this particular case, I'm going to change this whole image into a thick paint image. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to the canvas, right click it, and then go to lift canvas to thick paint layer. And you'll get this um, window that allows you to decide whether you want uniform thickness, use paper, pattern or texture to create the thickness or the image luminance. And I want to use image luminance, the light and dark of the image. Then I want it to be very thick. So I'm going to pop it up to 100. And that really is not very thick. And so I'll go ahead and say, OK. Uh, and I want it to be thicker than that. So I'm going to double click this layer. And that opens up your thick paint layer attributes. And I'm going to change this to 150% and say OK. And voila, now I have a much thicker paint. And all of that texture and stuff that I had working for me in watercolor is now being more pronounced. OK, now that I've done that, I want to start actually painting some things here. And I'm going to grab the heavy textured knife and I'm going to select a light color using my Alt key. I want a fairly light blue here and actually I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. And what I, now I have reduced the size of this brush considerably. I'm going to hold down my Shift key so that I get straight lines. And what I want to do is just try, uh oh, don't want to turn it that way. I want it to be flat. What I want to do is just try to bring in, too thick, to bring in some, uh, uh, getting that, there we go to bring in just a few lines that kind of indicate that we've got uh, water going on down here. That's all I wanted was just a little bit of uh, indication of water. And I think this does it pretty well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to do something up here with these mountains. And I'm going to switch to a thick impasto knife. Now, the thick impasto knife is a, a thick paint compatible uh, brush. It's not a thick paint brush. It's an impasto brush. But now it is allowed to use it to paint on a thick paint layer. So again, I'm going to use my uh, alt to tool and I'm going to pick this kind of green gray color over here and I'm going to take this thick impasto brush and I think I'll make it a little bit larger and I'm just going to bring it up and around here. Uh, let's take that over again. That's better. I wanted to get a little stronger there. And I think I'm going to change the edge a little bit there. That's what I want. Now I'm going to use this same blue right here. But you know what? I don't want to do that first. I don't want to do this background color first. So I'm going to bring this one down here. Now, one thing that's happening, you may notice that 
I'm getting a, a textured um, brush stroke. See how textured it is? That's because I have selected this paper called Agate, and uh, you can find that paper in the, here it is, in dramatic papers that are available uh, to buy at Corel. I love those papers. Okay, so I put in the little brown. I want to I want to delineate between this one, if I can. I'm trying to get it a little bit thicker. This brush has a thicker end to it. There we go. Now I've got what I wanted. It has a thicker end at one side. See when you pull it down, you've got that thicker end on one side. Now I'm going to go back to this blue and uh, put it right in here. Like that. I like it. Okay, now I want to go up to the top and I want to pick up this light blue, uh, brown here. And I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. And come up and down. Like that. That's a little bit too straight. Let's kind of wiggle it up a little bit. Now I'm going to... Still not happy. Let's bring it down a little closer. There we go. That's what I wanted. A little more that way. And then I'm going to get the little bit darker color, that one, and I'll bring the size of the brush down a little bit, and we're going to put whoo, got over the line. We're going to put this right here, like that. So we're kind of, I need to come over this way a little bit. There we go. We're kind of putting in another set of color there. And I actually, I'm going to put in, I'm going to bring in just a few kind of linear strokes in here, just to kind of give it a little more oomph there. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is work on these trees. And this time I'm going to go to a brush called Grainy Tint Scumble. And this is a clone tinting brush. Okay, so I'm going to come up to my, it's already set to clone color. I'm going to come up here to the property bar and click on the clone source and change that to texture. Then I'm going to make sure that I've selected this texture. Uh, this is a texture created by Lynn in Australia uh, and made available in one of my classes. She made beautiful textures and I love them, so I use them frequently. And I want to show texture and that will show me where the texture is. And I want to open up the textures uh, transform panel so that I can bring uh, the texture down to the area that I want to paint. And I want to use that all this orangey color up here. So I'm going to bring it down to about here. I'm going to make it wider. And I think I'll make it a little bit down this way some and more up that way some in hopes that I'll get the orangey colors that I want. And then I'll commit it. And of course, it'll tell me that um, if I want to keep this to save it. But I don't. And then I'm going to turn off the show uh, feature. And I'm going to close the texture panel here. OK, so I have this uh, grainy tint scumble pattern. Let me show you what it actually does. I'm going to make it larger. If I hold it down, it will start creating that texture in sort of large um, brush strokes. 
or if I come in here and just sort of paint lightly with it, or slowly rather, you'll get these big brush marks like you're seeing. It's really a fun brush. But what I want to do is I want to make the brush a little bit smaller and I want to paint pretty fast with it. All right, that got them all. And that's going to give me some look of trees here that have a little bit of fall color to them. And I think that's kind of neat. And I'll go ahead and put in some reflections of those colors down here in this water. And there you have a completely reworked uh, watercolor into thick paint with lots of texture. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. The only thing I might would do next is I probably would take this uh, texture, knife texture brush again and hold down the uh, shift key. And I would just quickly drop in a line or two that's a little bit lighter in color just to kind of indicate those trees a little better. And there we have it. We're done. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye-bye.